This demonstration is known as the cone rolling up hill. It consists of a double-sided cone that has pegs on either side, where the center of mass of this cone is in line with those pegs. Along with this cone, we also have a V-shaped track that we elevate on one side. The idea of this demonstration is to illustrate how the center of mass of an object will determine how it will roll up or down a hill. So to begin with, we will place our cone on the lower end of the track, which is also the skinny end of the V, and this item will end up resting on the track at a very low point on the object. If we place our cone at the skinny end of the track and measure the height of the center of mass from the surface of the table, you will see that that is about 15 centimeters from the surface. So now that we know the position of our center of mass, let's see what happens as this rolls down our track. As you can see, it looks as though the cone actually traveled uphill as it traveled along our track. If, however, we check the center of mass of this object, on this side with our indicator, you will see that the center of mass is actually now only 13 centimeters from the surface of the table. So how is it possible that this went uphill? Well, we know that this is a V-shaped track. Therefore, when the object is on the lower end, the track is only separated by a small amount. But as it travels along the track, the legs of the track get separated more and more. Therefore, as the cone travels up the track, the separation of the track touches a higher and higher point on the cone, therefore taking the whole object and dropping it lower on the track. Therefore, the difference in height from the bottom end of the track to the top end of the track, and the difference in height from where the center of mass started on the lower end of the track to where it ended on the higher end of the track, differs by only two centimeters. So although it looks like the cone was traveling uphill, the center of mass of the object was actually traveling down.